Thank you. So what you do with the actual muscle test is this. And I'm not going to be moving around too much. So for the first one with the muscle testing, it's the lateral deltoid. So push up my hand, and that's strong. What is essentially happens when people muscle test is they're like this. Push. They want to win. It's, it turns into a real ego thing. Instead of going, is this actually working? I want to try and make sure that I give them every single chance to win the actual muscle test. I may fatigue them, and I may set them up in different positions to find out specifically what's wrong, but I don't want to necessarily win. I don't want a false positive. And sometimes I'll retest the same muscle two or three times just to make sure that it actually is truly weak and I'm not creating something in my mind. So the lateral deltoid, you push up, it's like this. Then the posterior deltoid, you bring it down, you bring it back, push back my hand. That's strong. The infraspinatus, Dr. Leaf showed us that today. You bring it up like this, push back in my hand. Notice I haven't moved. Bring the arm down, subscapularis, push down. Still haven't moved. Subclavius. Dr. Leaf said the very first thing you have to figure out is to make sure that the clavicle is actually staying. So you turn your hand like this, put your hand like this, bring your arm towards your head. That's strong. Lower trapez uh, trapezius. Bring it like this, thumb is back, and it's going to be an arc and plane within this position here. Push back in my hand. And the, and the plane is in this plane that I'm actually pushing. Pec clavicular. So I go like this, I go to the front now. Now I just tested six different muscles without moving. And I can do that literally in probably less than 10 seconds. So I can really cruise through to, to make sure that what's going on. Now, pec clavicular, you can either do this standing or laying down. If you get really good, you can do this standing. So what he's going to do, I internally rotate his hand, his palm is facing out, and what he's going to do is come towards me. Push. That's holding. And you can change this, you can push it here, and I'm going to push up into that position. Push up. So I'm testing the integrity of his entire shoulder joint. So I'm like this now. So now I'm down to serratus anterior. I put my hand in the back on his scapula, and he's going to push straight up. Push up. I want to see that whether or not the scapula is actually lifting off the rib cage, because that's one of the biggest problems with the winging is the serratus anterior goes weak, and then just falls right off there. And then the latimus dorsi, which a lot of times stand up. Internally rotate again. Palm is in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out within this plane and range of motion. Hold. And that's strong. Have a seat. So you can do a very quick scan of all the different muscles. And there are a few more that you can actually do too. But these are ones that you can do very, very quickly to get an idea of whether or not they should be actually even doing some of the exercises.